Wow. You look amazing. We asked you to make costumes for Simon's Halloween party. Wait, where's Nick? Hello. <laughs> Please forgive me. I'm fashionably late to my own party. Hello, Dana. Hello, me. Wow. Hello, me. Very nice. OK, real Simon and realer Dana. Let's take a look at what our makers put together for Simon's soiree. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that wig! So every time you do laundry, there's always a sock missing. So I made the Sock Monster 2000. Stop. And on this side, we have Amy's sock, which she so delightfully let me use for my costume. I did. Is there nothing you want to sacrifice? <laughs> I think we could say Amy's made the ultimate sacrifice for oh. us. <laughs> the originality and the concept just like blew us away immediately. Everybody can relate to this issue, but the craftsmanship, which we know you're capable of, right. looked a little sloppy, uh, but great job. Uh, Kim, do you walk backwards, forwards? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey, can I translate for you? Yeah, sure. So tell us about your costume. My my love of Rowdy, my dog, this is giving me. This is uh, the love of his life, Rowdy, his dog, oh. consuming him. Okay. It's surreal. It wow. is. Your costume is absolutely insane. It's brilliant. There's so many feathers there. What else do we have, Kim? The pot scrubbers for the eyes, yeah? Yes. Wow. Yes. And then I split up a loofah because my, my dog's eyebrows are going white. Rowdy's eyebrows are turning white, oh. so the loofahs represent. Great use of recycled materials. <laughs> I'm sensing a word play. I'm a piece of beefcake. Louder. <laughs> beefcake. <laughs> the mask is dynamite. You know, craftsmanship, a little iffy. One of your loofahs did fall off. You will use that mask time and time again. Your kids will want to use that mask. It's hilarious. Thank you. It's really great. Robert, can you tell us about yours? Ooh. Remember the old nursery rhyme about four and 20 blackbirds baked in a pie? Mm. I would be a prize-winning pie. Even your pastry is chic. Very idiosyncratic, integrating the birds themselves. So the three things you used were the feathers? The, the feather dusters the rope mop, and the coffee filters. Coffee filters. My crust and um, the edges is all a uh, pool noodle that has been wrapped in felt. Wow. Great use of materials, just in terms of the originality. I would have liked to have seen, like, maybe you won the pie-eating contest, uh, like some blueberry dripping off your sure. face, oh. or something like that. Yep. Wow. I feel this is a personal homage. It, this is a pizza. My mind. Nice. Revolve, darling. <laughs> oh, okay. wow. I like that you added a little bit of flavor, but I've seen this pizza slice costume on Etsy a thousand times. I, I've seen the pizza, but a pizza my mind, I thought was, uh-huh. I think the word plays great. As usual, you've created something that's very pleasing to look at. Start to think about breaking rules and not being literal. And I think it's gonna actually be very easy for you. I think you're ready to jump and make beautiful and surprising, yeah. surreal things. All right. This is so much fun and the creativity is off the charts. And the winner of this week's Faster Craft Challenge is Kim. Oh! Oh, wow.